Oh yeah, that's lovely. So we got a nice machine we got to check out here. It's uh, most likely pretty nasty and dirty, so let's go take a look at it. They have beer being sold nearby, which they used to put the trash can right beside it and told them to move it. Let's see if they've continued to keep it moved away from the machine. Otherwise, the yeast ends up getting in there and creating gunk in the machine. So let's go in there and take a look and see what's going on. If you guys enjoy the video, make sure you give it a big like and don't forget to subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Let's go get started. <laughs> Surprisingly, they're actually keeping the trash can away from it, so let's see if it made much of a difference. Yeah, it's still got growth. Gotta love it. We got horrible water here. Yeah. Gotta love it. Nasty as usual. So, I completely tear this thing apart and clean it. Oh yeah, that's lovely. You yeah, notice the water's not getting out of there at all. That's probably the worst I've seen it yet. That is pretty freaking nasty. See, you got the finger here growing. Been down there in the ice, which is lovely. Look at this. So as you can see, this thing is pretty nasty. It needs severely cleaned. So we're gonna get this thing cleaned up. We're gonna trash that ice. I don't even want nothing to do with that. Just gonna spray the living snot out of this thing. Literally the snot out of it. So, cause that's what's pretty much inside here. Our hot water doesn't work in this faucet. Just the cold. Spray nozzle doesn't work right. You shouldn't run these through here, but this is about the only way I've got to clean it, or at least get some of the crap off of it. That stuff's to eat into it. We got the funk off of it, but it's not uh, coming clean. This machine needs thrown away. They just got horrible water here. The water's majority of it. It's high, high calcium. It's on a, they don't have a reservoir, so literally it all comes out of a well. It's just really horrible water.
a lot accomplished here. I mean, there's calcium buildup because they have well style water here. Um, what you're seeing there on the buildup is uh, just calcium. Uh, there's nothing loose to break loose. Now well, there's a little something there I gotta get. But this nasty stuff here, that's, that's just calcium dirt type stuff locked into it. You can't get it loose. But as far as any slime, bacteria, stuff like that, we're killing all that. And up in here, you can just see the calcium build up in there too. We're getting as clean as you can get it. it uh, you shouldn't get any in the plug there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow that plug out real good. Now I'll hit it with some dielectric grease when I'm done. Otherwise you'll have corrosion in that. Um, but this thing's a hundred times better. The uh, pump, transfer pump, man, I really, really, really like it. I didn't know if I wanted to spend the 200 bucks, but um, it's that's two buckets right there. I'm on a six amp hour battery. We're still three bars. So there's 10 gallons of water. And uh, it's it's got some pretty good pressure. That's a lot cheaper than one of those $700, $800 coil jets. And you can put any nozzle you want on this thing. And you can use it for drain cleaning whatever so I'm really happy with this so far um, but this has made it so much easier where I'm at they just don't have adequate water supply where I'm at and it's just uh, I found a faucet that you got hot water on so I was able to get really nice hot water up their detergent in there so we're getting it clean completely out we're able to do a good job but we're able to do it quickly otherwise you're gonna spend here forever um, the calcium stuff this thing uh, it's up for replacement, so uh, I think uh, in the next couple months to less than a year, they'll be up for a new machine. So we'll just go ahead and I'm just going to get the, 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 the stuff that will make you sick gone. Uh, the calcium is just for looks. Uh, you'll never get it off. That's, that's been building up over the last four to five years, and uh, you're just not going to get it. You, that's why you got to have good water. You got to have a water softener, you got to have water treatment. You know, if you're on city water, it ain't so bad. But this is a small town uh, out in uh, out in the country, so to speak. Uh, no reservoirs. It's purely pumped out of a, a commercial well, and uh, what you get is what you get. So, uh, anyhow, uh, we're gonna continue cleaning here. All right. So we got all the funk behind the coil cleaned out when we shot the water from the top. Right up here and backwards from the bottom. We ran about 25, 30 gallons of water through this thing. Uh, we got all the nasty stuff out of there. The only thing we got left behind is the calcium, but you're never gonna get out. Uh, we got all the crud off of the pump. Uh, we still gotta dry out that plug there. We uh, cleaned all of the container down here, the cabinets, um, scrubbed all this here. All oh, that looks good. Just use scrub brushes, toothbrushes, tile brushes, all that stuff, and got it all clean. Um, still got to disinfect it. Which, uh, we do need to clean this microphone up a little bit. It's a little ratty, but uh, otherwise everything else looks as good as what you're going to get. Uh, but that's the first time I ever used that hose. I've uh, thought about just getting regular garden hose in the past, and uh, this honestly did really well because we're back here by a bar area where we just don't have any water, and we've been tracking it across the kitchen and everything else. And uh, everything went down the drain, didn't make much of a mess at all, so it worked out rather well. All right, that looks a lot better. After I ran that through some hot water again and scrubbed it, I got all that calcium off at least that. This is all good to go. The plug's all clean. <laughs> Allergies is why my voice is messed up today, just in case you guys are wondering. So, never had them before. We got some dielectric grease here. I went ahead and blew it out with my Milwaukee blower. And we're gonna put a little bit up in here. I've had this before where water got in there and electrolysis set in and caused a bad connection. So we got that in there and we're good to go on that. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mix some of this MS or mix some of this IMS3 cleaner into the bucket and just douse the whole thing with cleaner after we run the cleaner through the water trough so that we can clean the plates because I haven't had a chance to clean the plates yet with the cleaner. So we're gonna clean it with the cleaner first, then we'll run this through and douse the whole machine.
and the uh, ice bin so everything's disinfected. So we're rinsing, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing drained down and let's go ahead and get it back into disinfection mode and get this thing making some ice because we need to make up for lunch time. So we've got my new water filter in there. Need to clean up the air filter. So we should be getting done here real soon, I hope. Looks a little better, don't it? So we've got the top back on it. Got everything cleaned back up. We've already made one batch of ice so far, which is good. So things are looking a lot better than what they were. Alright, so we got all the sanitizer wiped off of that because that really leaves a nasty uh, white film to it. So, get everything cleaned up, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. As you know, most of the problems with these ice machines is water related. It usually comes down to proper cleaning and sanitizing. After that, you know, just multiple different issues. So as long as you keep your machine clean, as long as you got 20 pounds of water pressure coming in and it's clean water and you got a clean machine, it should work. If not, then you probably have a refrigeration issue. So that's gonna wrap this one up, guys. If you liked it, like I said, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, we'll catch you on the next one.